Good evening. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Uh, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is Tuesday, July 26th, 2022. Okay, so there's Kathy, Joanne, Harriet, Jean, so you guys can hear me. I'm going to share the video really quickly. Hi there. Okay, copy. Hi. Okay, the sound is good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, boom. How are y'all doing? Okay, that posted. So yay, we are good to go. So I'm happy to report that the weather has changed slightly. Um, the last time I was here with y'all, the weather was ridiculous. It was so incredibly hot. It has since cooled down. Yay! So hopefully th that's the same for all of y'all. Um, I know that many of the states were hitting record temperatures, right? I don't even know what the temperature is today. What is it? I don't know. I took that option off of my, um, my watch. I used to get the weather. Okay, so we're going to do housekeeping notes in the middle of the video. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and start stamping. So I'm going to do like a little intermission about 10 minutes in. Um, and we're going to cover all the like chick candy and all that stuff. So we are going to be giving away chick candy. But we're going to start making the project first. This is what we're making. It's a money or gift card holder, so it opens up or it holds the gift card. Oh, y'all can't see. I got to put it on my hands. Where's the screen at? I'm showing y'all what we're making, and it's got my uh, face showing. Here we go. Okay, how's that? Is that working? Okay, so some of y'all are saying it has not cooled down where you're at yet. It's going to, right? Hopefully. Um, oh my gosh, 107. Okay, well, sorry, I thought that everybody was cooling down. I guess not. I think it's going to get hot again and um, later this week, but I'm just happy that we got a couple days of break. Yeah, in fact, it was cloudy all day yesterday, and because our grass, because it's been so blasted hot, our grass looks dead. And I told David that we didn't see the sun at all yesterday, and I felt like it was fall. Um, anyhow, anyway, so enough about our um, the weather, right? We could talk about that for hours. So this is the project that we're making. It is a money or gift card holder. So you can either fold your money and slide it in there, or you can slide in a gift card. And we will be announcing chick candy, all that stuff. Um, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to start making the project and then we'll do a little intermission. Okay. So let's get started. Here's the supplies. I won't give you the measurements because I'm going to put them right there. And for these little, um, guys here, they're like my little mascots tonight because, well, let's put this one up here. So cute. They're in one of our new, um, kits. What's this called? Well, I guess I have to open it up. I tore the wrapper off. So it's called the Best Remedy Kit. Now I'm wondering, is it available now for everybody or just demonstrators? <laughs> Somebody tell me. Um, anyway, they're so cute. But there's the only one you, the only stamp you get is the, um, see I said we were gonna start stamping and then all of a sudden, a lane swerve anyway okay let me get this out of the way we can talk about that at the end of the video okay supplies here's the measurements they will be available on the free PDF over on my website and um, yeah so here they all are today we're using balmy blue so last week I shared with you guys 
um, like a baby girl project. So I thought, well, I would share a baby boy gift card holder. Yeah, so last week was the baby girl. This week's the baby boy. You can make this exact same project using a uh, blushing bride or um, flirty flamingo or petal pink. Yeah. Okay, Stephanie says that kit's available for everyone. And then she says sh she believes. <laughs> okay, thank you. So let's see. What we're going to do first is stamp. And I'm using this piece here. Um, we're using the Hippest Hippo stamp set. <laughs> And we're using the coordinating dies. So both of these are free during celebration with a qualifying order. We're also using the Charming Sentiment stamp set and coordinating dies. You don't have to use these if you don't want to, but that's what we are using tonight. Okay, so let me get the little hippo. So y'all ready for a joke? Where are my jokes? I have to tell y'all a little funny. Last week, well, remind me to find them. Oh, here they are. Last week, I had some jokes for y'all. And when the video was over, I was like, oh, girl, I didn't show y'all. Um, I didn't tell y'all my jokes. Well, come to find out, I had jokes for an elephant. And we were, um, we were using the hippopotamus. So y'all would have had a really good laugh at me if I had told elephant jokes for a hippopotamus. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, so I've saved them for another day when we're going to be using um, the elephant stamp set. Okay, so we're going to color the hippo with our gray granite. And I'm going to move this out of the way now and put the card there so people can see what we're making. I guess I don't need my mouse anymore, right? Okay, the first joke is, what did the grape say when the hippopotamus stood on it? Nothing. It just let out a little whine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Quick and dirty coloring. So when we're done with the project, I'm also going to share with y'all some of the uh, baby shower stuff that I've been working on. Um, I showed y'all the napkin, napkin folding um, last Tuesday. Uh, over the weekend, I made uh, 30 drawstring. Ruh -roh, I just colored it in its mouth. That's okay. It won't be noticeable. Um, yeah, I made 30 drawstring bags for the shower. Now, if we were coloring this, um, for a girl, I would paint the toenails, um, pink. And you could with, for a boy with blue, but I'm not gonna. I think it's okay to sometimes have leave things white so boom we're done this is gray granite <laughs> okay so now we need to cut out the hippo so let me show you the dies that we're using so we're going to cut out the hippopotamus with this one we're going to actually cut out the babies are a blessing with that one because you could stamp it on this circle, but it doesn't fit. So if you'll look real closely, the, sorry, my stool that I'm sitting on is leaning forward. Um, you can see that like the G is hanging off. So if you were going to put this on a circle without using the coordinating dies, uh, you would need a bigger circle. You could also do um, a rectangle or a square if you wanted to. Yeah, so we're gonna cut that out. I've gone ahead and cut out the 
uh, stitched circle with the stylish shapes dies and I've also cut out the little okay Angie come on oh there it is right there so that's the circle for the greeting so we still need to cut out the scallop circle the glimmer one and we need to cut out our the hearts and the umbrella so long story short I'm fixing to get the Stamping Cut and Emboss Machine, and we will cut all those pieces out. So i got to move all this over so that I don't mess up anything. Yes, the, the Hippo set is so cute. And of course, y'all know I always ask for lots and lots of animals. So I am using all the animals to show my appreciation that we finally have a lot of cute animals. I cannot complain this time. I have to say that I sound like a broken record every year requesting animal sets. So I am using them. Now here's a good question that someone asked last week. Um, wait, let me get this off of here. So there's our um, glimmer scallop circle. And let me put the die back. Someone asked why my plates look so good. Uh, because this is only for videos. I don't use this for anything other than when I'm filming videos. So I have a whole nother set that's for mass producing like when I'm doing kits and stuff although I haven't done a kit in a while so hopefully that's gonna cut straight I think it is but I'm not a hundred percent too bad right okay there's that one now we got to cut out the babies and guess what I'm just gonna rip that because this one I need to be able to really see <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my head in the camera hey I have to tell y'all um, remember back in the spring we had um, we had a stamp set called what awesome otters um and i thought that otters were really awesome too <laughs> until they got into our boat okay there's that one they got into our pontoon over the winter and pretty much destroyed it you have no idea what kind of havoc river otters can do to a pontoon. In fact, they even took out all our cup holders and chewed holes in the bottom of them. And you don't want to hear all this other stuff that they did because it's too much information. <laughs> oh, Patty says my watch is pretty. Thank you. I did get a new watch band. It's, it's pink. Um, and I changed the face on it too. Okay, so we've got the umbrella, we've got the hearts. I think we've done all the die cutting now. So we can move everything, or move this thing out of the way. Not everything. Okay, there we go. Now we can put everything back in here. Now what we're gonna do, oh, rut row, let's see. Here's what we're gonna do. We want to color this with our balmy blue ink pad. Uh, how did we find out? It's the only thing that will, um, <laughs> it, was, it was easy to find out that it was otters because uh, what they did inside of our boat, only otters would do. <laughs> yeah 
they pretty much lived there uh, the whole winter. <laughs> and they slept and they ate and they went to the bathroom all in our pontoon. <laughs> yeah, raccoons can do the same, but they um, they go towards food, so food and there was no food in the boat, like zero, none. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take the blending brush. Wait a second. Is this the one I was using earlier? No, that's a brand new one. I was fixing to use another one, a new one. Okay, here's the one I used earlier. So now what we're going to do is brush on some balmy blue and start it and then brush it on. Oh, so some of you have received your paper shares. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys enjoy them. I've, I got lots of emails today from, from y'all. Um, and I have to tell you, it was actually a couple days late because our mail lady was sick. And the substitutes, the whoever was uh, substituting her route, they didn't pick up the mail. And oh my gosh, I could, could not believe it. Two days straight, I put them out there thinking it was just a fluke. So I apologize that it was two days later than what it should have been. I told her today, I said, please, please don't change routes because I really love her. She's really good. Okay, so there's how it looks now. It, it might be a little hard to see. Um, looks like the sun is starting to come out now, but it just has a light shade of balmy blue. Now, did I cut out the balmy blue? Oh wait, that is the balmy blue. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the basic white stitched, stitched circle. And we're gonna glue that on. I'll put this back over here so y'all can see it. Hi Jamie. I have several downline girls on here, Jamie being one of them. I just happened to look up and see, and Kathy, you're a downline, Stephanie's a downline. Okay, hopefully that's going to stick. Earlier today when I was making this, um, it did come back up a bit, so I had to re-glue it. We're also gonna glue the babies are a blessing. And I'm gonna get my silicone craft sheet so that I don't get glue on my desk. My husband asked me tonight, he said, are you gonna be an hour or are you gonna be 30 minutes? And I'm like, I'm probably gonna be an hour, dude. I got stuff to show y'all. I got drawstring bags and chick candy and, uh, yeah, I got stuff to show y'all. Okay, I got glue on that, but that's okay. So that's done. And then we're going to glue her on here. So again, just some liquid glue. Ooh, you can tell I got a new one. Uh, Sue Ann... Uh, if you're talking about blending with the brushes, just always uh, start on a scrap piece of paper and then bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going to go right smack dab in the middle. I'm just going to hold that for a second and let it dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to get the little umbrella. And we're going to be adding it with a mini dimensional. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool and pick up one of these little ones and add it there. Pull the backing off the dimensional and then just, let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this aside for just a second. Let's add this to our project and then add the umbrella because if you'll notice here, it kind of 
comes off the scallop circle. So it's time for another joke. Are y'all ready? <laughs> this is a good one. What do you call a long-haired hippo? A hippie. Okay, the base of our card is, what is it? Five and a half by four and a quarter, okay? So, uh-oh, I think I cut it wrong. Oh, grr, I did. Let's see, what is this one right here? Okay, this one just needs a little trimming. Isn't that funny that I caught that? So it needs to be five and a half by four and a quarter. I was just off by a little. And then we're gonna take this piece, which measures four and a quarter by six, and we are going to score it at three inches on the six inch side. So three inches. Oh, you can't see it because of my head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. What, I'm going to eventually get a little bit better at um, doing all of this, but yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just cracking up at myself. What can I say? So we're gonna take this piece. So we're using the Balmy Blue Suttles pack of uh, designer series paper. So if we were making the, a girl project, um, we would use the flowers. But since we're making a boy one, then um, I'm using the stripey side, okay? I'm still laughing about my head covering up the um, uh, the card. It's nice to know y'all want to see the card more, right? Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so I think now is the perfect time for our little commercial break. So I'm not going anywhere, but I'm gonna slide all this aside for a second and we're gonna cover a couple housekeeping notes. Again, the measurements for this project will be made available afterwards and I'll show this several times during our video. The And the free PDF will be available later. Our winners for Chick Candy, for the YouTube Chick Candy, they have all been notified and they've all been sent. So that's like three or four weeks in a row now. Every single person has um, contacted me and given me their mailing address and they've all been sent. So these were the winners. Um, someone asked, where do I post them? I reply to their comment on YouTube and I post it on the, the blog, uh, my blog post that actually has that project. So next week when I draw the, or not next week, in a couple of days when I draw the winner, it'll be on this blog post. I'll update the blog post with it, okay? So those people already got their gifts. Yay, the system is working and the comment picker worked wonderful. So tonight our YouTube Chick Candy, we got three gifts for you. Now, someone did tell me that I did not give a deadline to leave a comment. So sorry, I didn't think about that. So I had to change the wording just slightly. So the way you enter to win is as soon as this video is over, leave a comment, because I can't draw winners from the chat box without messing up the video. So leave a comment on the video afterwards, and then I will draw the winner on Monday, Monday. I can't talk Thursday morning. So that gives y'all about 24 hours or like, what is that? Not really 24, like 36. Anyway, tonight's Tuesday. 
So Thursday morning at 9 a.m., I will draw the winner, okay? So number one, the first name that I draw will get the embossed treat bags, entire pack of embossed treat bags. The second name I draw will be Perfect Pomegranate pomegranate stamp set. And then the third person will be will win the Carolyn Mice stamp set. So again, as soon as the video is over, just leave a comment on this video. If you're watching this video afterwards, so sorry. But I will be doing this for quite a long time because we're being successful at it, right? Um, and I can only do this for United States people. We're not allowed to send product out of the States. If your name is drawn and you already have the product or you prefer not to have it, you are welcome to say, draw another name. Okay? So that is it for my, well, nope, I got one more commercial break. There's two chick candies. There's YouTube chick candy and then there's my blog chick candy. So today over on my website, I announced this drawstring bag. Love the Bonnie and Camille fabric. A chick stand, trees for sale stamp set, and tree lot dies. I will draw the winner for this next Wednesday morning. And the way that you enter to win this one is leaving a comment on that blog post or placing a qualifying order. Okay, now that's all the uh, housekeeping notes, and I can move all of that out of the way, and we'll go back to making our project. So after the video, I will show y'all the drawstring bags that I made for the baby shower, and a couple other, um, couple other things. Okay, here we go. Measurements again, and we'll tell another joke. What do you call a hippopotamus in a phone booth? <laughs> Stuck. That's funny, isn't it? Okay, we got some more gluing to do. I'm gonna attach this paper to the front of this panel here. I'm gonna get my silicone craft sheet back out. I'm gonna switch these around and get my liquid glue. Thank you. I did have someone ask me today when I'm gonna do another sewing video. I'm smack dab still in the middle of planning this baby shower, so um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm barely hanging on just getting my, jo <laughs> my job done right now. So once that's over, things should shift back to normal somewhat. Yeah. I say should, because you know, sometimes God has other plans for us, but I'm anticipating that things will get back to normal. Now for the inside, to hold the gift card or the cash, we're gonna add this little panel here, and then we're gonna add this paper. Now, I did use the flowers on the inside because I figure it's okay. Some, it's okay if I'm making this a boy project, but there's still a little bit of flowers, right? Plus, it's mostly hidden. Oh, and I just realized that I am missing a white piece for the inside of the card. Now, to add this, it's a little tricky because you want to make sure that it will hold your gift card so you've got to make sure you put glue only on the edges, okay? So I'm gonna flip this, and we're only gonna add glue on three sides. So, and we just want a very fine line of glue so that it will hold. Ooh, that one was too much. I gotta hold my mouth right. One more side. It seems very quiet all of a sudden. Okay, there's that. Now, we're gonna add it here and then hold it while it dries. <laughs> Patricia said normal will be a thing of the past. I honestly don't think that anything has ever been really normal in my life, but I think I always strive to have normal. <laughs> okay, so there's the gift card holder part. So let's take it out of this one and confirm 
that it works and it does yay okay so we'll put that back in there for now and I just remembered that I am missing another piece of white cardstock I don't know how I did that let me get my trimmer and this piece is supposed to supposed to measure uh, two and seven eighths my blade has a hard time staying in now so two and seven eighths by four and an eighth now let me show you on the inside here I did not add the greeting until after I'd already made the card so I stamped it and then I cut it out with the coordinating dies, but I'm gonna try to just stamp it right in the middle here. It may or may not work, it should work. Yeah, it's gonna work. <laughs> so Memento Ink. And then I'm gonna turn it over and put my liquid glue. I put my phone and my watch on do not disturb tonight. <laughs> Cause remember the last two weeks, Brooke has called right smack dab in the middle of my live video. Okay, so now this layer, this gift card holder, is actually going to get glued right in the middle of this, okay? And I would say this would probably be the most challenging part, but if it's not exact, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to hold that now and let that dry for a second. Okay, ta-da! Now we can finish decorating it. So we're gonna add her, him, him. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna use liquid glue again. So the only thing I used a dimensional on is the umbrella. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that. Yay, I'm glad you like it, Christy. Yeah, you can just fold the cash uh, in half and then half again and slide it right in. And then the greeting's gonna go down here. And I'm just gonna use liquid glue. Okay, hold that and then the umbrella okay hold on I don't want it on his ear there we go and that little um, you could put a little dab of liquid glue on the handle to the umbrella if that bothers you that it's popping up yeah, you can put just a little dab of, of glue. And now my hearts. So we're gonna add one heart over here and then the other heart here. And now we always like to add embellishments in threes, but I didn't this time because I kind of felt like the umbrella is the third but I could be wrong, I don't know. So here's the other heart uh, that comes when you cut out that die, or when you use that die, it gives you three. But then I'm like, that's too much. So anywho, you can, you can use more if you want, but um, I'm just gonna use two of them. So let me get my liquid glue. And then I'm going to use my take your pick tool. 
I'm using two of them actually. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of glue and then hold that, okay? Same thing, pick it up and hold it. I feel like I'm doing surgery. Okay, we got another joke. What is as big as a hippopotamus but weighs nothing? It's shadow. Okay, so let's compare. This is the one we just made. It opens up. And then here's the one I made earlier. And we will confirm that it does fit. And yes, it does. Pretty cute, right? Oh, you could put the third heart on the inside. Great idea. I love it. Thank you. Although I've already taken the picture of the inside for the, uh, for the PDF, for the free PDF, it won't have the heart, but that was a great idea. And I got a little too much glue, so I'll remove some of it with that silicone craft sheet. Thank you. Okay, so we have one more joke. <laughs> How do you say hello to a hippopotamus? Hypo. I have the, I love finding these jokes. Okay, so thank y'all so much. We're done making the project. Now we're gonna do a little bit of chatting um, among friends. And I'm going to show y'all uh, the baby shower stuff that I've been working on. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, you said great idea about adding the heart on the inside. Yeah, that's a great idea. I love it. So this PDF will be made available um, in a couple hours. I wasn't able to get the blog post done yet, but I do already have the PDF um, ready. It's just going to take me a couple hours. I got to eat dinner and then I'll work on the blog post. But the PDF is ready. So it will be tonight. Don't forget to leave a comment. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am 2,000 away from finally hitting my 100,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, every time I say that though, then I'll lo I lose a bunch. But <laughs> I would really like to reach that. Um, I could be, I could start begging if that would help. No. Okay, so you don't want to see the stuff for the baby shower. I showed y'all last week some items, um, but let's see. Let me move this out of the way, move this out of the way. And um, so I showed y'all the jar last week that I am filling with the pink butter mints. I can't put them in there yet because they would get stale. I want people to be able to eat them. So this is uh, one of their one of the gifts that they're getting. And then I finally got all the um, all the silverware done. Isn't that so beautiful? It's going to be on a white plate, then on a woven placemat. And I do have um, all of this information, like where I got the the uh, fabric, the jars, the napkins, uh, the gold silverware, the twine. Um, I do have it all already typed up on my blog so that when I'm done, I'll be able to share everything. And then, so I was telling my downline this morning on our, um, on our Zoom call that I made the drawstring bags and they don't, they're, they don't coordinate with the color. They're pink. But they're they don't they don't coordinate and it's really making me stress. I'm like really stressing out. Yes, there's a cork that goes on here, but it's not tight, so it's not enough to seal it to keep them fresh. It's just a cork top, and I have all those in a in a Ziploc bag. Uh, so as soon as I put the butter mints in, uh, I will seal them up. Yeah. So their their placemat is gonna have this. 
uh, at their table and we were going to put their drawstring bags with their other gift inside here just in a basket by the door and tell them to take one as they go but it's really stressing me out like I sent my sister a snap this morning and I'm like these pinks are not working they're not coordinating and she's like they don't have to match and my downlines are the same but I'm still really struggling because I want it to all match <laughs> yeah and they don't as you can clearly see but these are going to be in a basket by the door and this is going to be on the table um where everyone's eating so uh, if you if you if you see another bag don't be surprised no <laughs> the problem is let me show you some other fabric um that i have So I have lots of fabric in my house, um, clearly. And so this is the color of the napkin. And uh, this pink don't match either, nor does this one. None of them match. Like this pink is almost, it almost has like a, um, a lavender um, shade to it. And... I, I've checked every pink fabric I have in my house. There is not a single piece of fabric that matches this color. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. I did make all 30 of these this weekend. All weekend. Um, yeah, I, I was up until 1 a.m. on a Saturday night because I, I couldn't go to bed until I got to a certain point. And then, yeah, isn't this gingham beautiful? <laughs> Now, this gingham here, this is gauze. Um, so this is not cotton fabric like this fabric. This is gauzy fabric. I wonder if maybe I should order 10 yards of this and remake it in that. I wouldn't get it in time, but hmm. I've never made a basket with gauze. Is that what it's called? Gauze? I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, now... Do you guys, um, well, you're right. I could not use these napkins and get something else, but they were not cheap. And I've already done them. I already have all of these done and tied. It's such a beautiful sight looking at all of them. Um, yeah, no, I can't change the napkin. I'd have to redo all of that. <laughs> it would be easier to do. And not that it'd be easier to make 30 more, but I know that I could sell these or give these away. So if I were to find some fabric that I really um, that I really loved, I could I could remake them. As I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that fabric would go really well. Maybe tonight I'll stay up all night and see if that gauzy fabric will make a drawstring bag. The things that, that we all stress about. Uh, Jean, I have not finished the hexagon quilt, if that's the one you're asking about. I'm, we're, uh, David's going to be doing some driving this weekend. It's his um, parents' 60th anniversary, so we're going down to the lake to, to visit with them, take them out to dinner. So I'm going to be in the car for three and a half hours on... Um, Thursday and Sunday, so I'm hoping to get some more of those hexagons done and get it done. Yeah, uh, the shower's the 7th, August 7th. So I've got, uh, what is that, one weekend left, right? <sighs> yeah, I'm looking, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find my mouse. When is the date? When is, uh, when is August 7th? Um, today is the 26th, so yeah, I've got, I've got uh, about a week to get done. <laughs> Don't change them. Yeah, we'll see. I probably won't, but it would be so nice if they were all matchy-match, right? Ugh, grr. When I ordered this fabric online, though, I thought it was light pink, and I thought that that was white um white in there and it's cream so when i made the first five i sent my sister a picture i think i have it on here or did i delete it no i have it look so i sent this picture to my sister and i said 
I don't think the white string is looking right. She's like, oh, you're right. You've got to use the, the cream colored string. So then I had to take all the string out of five of them. Or twill tape is what I'm using. Yeah. So I thought I was getting white. But it's creamy. It's still pretty though. If I wasn't comparing it to to this pink, I would probably, well, no, I always, look, my fingernail polish matches this pink. Yeah, my toes do too. I did not do a very good job of looking for uh, y'all's questions tonight. So if you had a question and I didn't answer you, I don't think I answered many, please send me an email or leave a comment. Cause don't forget if you leave a comment, when the video is over, uh, you're entered to win the chick candy. <laughs> I'm laughing at y'all's comments. Somebody, though, I know there's somebody on here that can relate to the uh, the OCD-ness. OCD-ness? Is that, that, is that a word? Um, oh, my gosh. Jessica is fine with whatever I'm doing. Yeah, she, she's... It, for me, it's more that um, y'all know, we all obsess about the um, certain things, especially, okay, so here's the thing, Sandra, if you're watching, so many years ago, I told Sandra that um, it's all about the presentation, like, presentation is just so important, you know, like, I can give a gift that's only, that only cost me $5, but the way you present it makes such a huge difference. So, yeah, Sandra and I talk about that all the time. Presentation, it's so important. Oh, goodness gracious, that little airplane sounded like it was gonna land in my house. <laughs> and Lori, that's exactly right. So Lori said we all love Stampin' Up! because of the matchy match, and that is so true. That's. That is part of why I feel like I can be successful as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is because everything coordinates. Um, and I am not actually making anything with stamps, ink, and paper for the shower because we don't have a light pink. Our pinks are Blushing Bride and Petal Pink. And uh, y'all know we don't have a baby pink. And so I'm not actually stamping anything. I'm using fabric. Um, yeah, I'm using fabric. So, <laughs> yeah, we need a pink color. I said that last week, too. I could put some of those little pink hearts on the table. That's a good idea. I actually did order some, um, some confetti on Amazon that says baby. And it has um, hexagons and... I don't know what else, but it, it's a whole bunch of confetti that we can put on the dessert table and it has baby and all kinds of hexagons. Yeah, because it's all matchy match. <laughs> okay, what I'll do is um, look at the questions really quickly. I'm going to try to look at the questions. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to um, get to them. Let's see. I'm going to click on live chat. Um, yeah, okay, so everybody has Stampin' Up! to give us a pink pirouette back. We need a baby pink, right? <laughs> Kathy says, changing the bow sounds like a lot easier. I know, but no, this is the perfect. Like, when I got this in, I was just like, oh, this is my favorite, like, this is my favorite pink. Um, yeah, I, I mean, even like when I was pregnant a long time ago, I wore this color pink, like, uh, pastel pink have, has always been one of my, like white is my favorite color. And then pastel pink is my next favorite color. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So put them on a different table and no one will, but they're taking this home and they're taking this home. So when they're walking out and they're taking two gifts, they don't match. I know I have to stop. Like 
now y'all can see why I'm like, <laughs> um, okay, I answered that question. See, and that's as far back as I can go. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong on this, but I can't actually go all the way back to the beginning to see y'all's comments. So if you had a question, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section instead of the chat box, or you're welcome to send me an email. Um, yeah, let's all hope for a baby pink next year. Um, so my next live video is scheduled for next Tuesday. Again, once I get past the shower, I will go back to doing more than one project a week. But right now, Okay, I'm back. Are y'all still there? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm unfroze. Oh goodness. Sorry about that. So y'all are y'all are still there? Right smack dab in the middle of me trying to say have a good night and when I'm going live next and it said my connection was interrupted and I think the problem was is I went over uh, I went over to my channel and was looking at stuff and I, I think I might have accidentally hit something I should not have I think I'm not sure okay now I'm looking at the, um, okay, so Sheila says she agrees with me about the pink, but she knows that they will love the bag no matter what. Now I'm scrolling back very carefully uh, to read the comments. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh goodness, I don't know what I did. Um, okay, so fun project, thank you. I guess I could move my mouse or, or my, um, what is that thing, a keyboard. Okay, so Michelle's apartment flooded. Oh my goodness, we are praying for you. Sorry, that's a terrible thing. Whew. Um, okay. What is the color of the image? What is the color of the image on the fabric? Uh, Becky, if you're still here, um, I'm not sure. Are you talking about this, this, this fabric or the other one? Yeah, this one is, um, like cream but this is white this is like gingham right okay I'm still scrolling back uh, okay I don't think I see any more questions so I'll go ahead and sign off sorry there was a little bit of an interruption there uh, I think I did it I think I think when I went over to my YouTube channel to look at the uh, chat box to go all the way back, I think I might have accidentally hit something. And yeah, I can't believe it froze with my mouth wide open. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the drawstring bag. Yeah, uh, this is more of a cream, like a vanilla color. Uh, sometimes when you order fabric online, it's really hard to tell if it's like, I thought this was pastel pink. When it arrived, it was not pastel. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is the color I thought I was getting. But it's still a cute color. If I was not comparing it to that, I would really like it. Yeah, I would. Uh, do I think that there will be a new light blue ink pad? 
You know, we have a light blue. I think that this balmy blue is fairly light. Um, it's definitely considered a, a baby color more so than our pinks. Like, we don't really have a true baby pink color. Uh, Blushing Bride is the closest that we have, but we don't have a, a Stampin' Blend marker. So it, that makes that extremely difficult. Uh, that's why last week I used the Retired Pink Purette. <laughs> Flo says, years from now, when my granddaughter's older, we'll have family tales of how Grandma did the mixed match shower fan. <laughs> See, that's exactly why I think I have to change it. I don't know if I can handle the Mitch match. Mitchy match. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are the paper shares to show coordinating paper? Uh, paper shares are where, um, is what I sell, and everyone gets a sample of all the papers. Yeah, so a paper share is you get a little bit of paper, and I don't actually have them in here. They're all, they're all out there um, in the in the basement. But yeah, it's just a small. So you get that you can either get six by six or six by twelve, and you just get a sampling of every pack of paper. So the holiday catalog paper shares are the ones that I'm doing another round of, and you just get a sample of all of the holiday catalog paper. Yeah, I think I have a picture on my website. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, Carol says, so hard ordering online. Carol, if you're using a tablet or an iPhone, I will tell you, try turning your phone uh, this orientation and, and try ordering that way instead of this way because that will give you more of the shopping cart. Yeah, so instead of, you know, normally we look at websites with our phone like this. I could do it like this. Um, but try doing it like this once you've gone to the website, okay? Yeah, if you still have trouble, let me know. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next Tuesday. See you later.